Hello everyone, welcome to the new video and today we will discuss some scenario based question for DevOps. So first question is that how would you secure your APIs which is which are accessible to users which are exposed for public so how will you uh, like secure them what solution will you uh, be uh, implementing so basically your answer should be like first of all authentication authentication can be done only through keys and MFA should be enabled okay only through keys and token to the APIs second thing is authorization whoever person is able to log in log in uh, or uh, access the API should be given limited access according to their role role based access control should be their RBAC then third thing is we should use HTTPS because HTTPS is secure and it is certificated so it is it uh, like there is an extra security layer that is added so we should always use HTTPS instead of HTTP then course Co cross origin resource sharing so we should define in policies which domain are allowed to access your API so unauthorized access is prevented if we use course cross origin resource sharing then logging and monitoring should be done encryption should be there because we should uh, encrypt the data um, at the all the sensitive data and we should implement the api gateway api gateway should be there implemented uh, there also only the uh, access uh, to the authorized uh, like users can be uh, can access this uh, api and web application firewall should be installed to uh, uh, to prevent the attacks ddos attacks and everything and security audit should be done so that uh, everything is fine and in place so this you can tell second question is that uh, if production data is deleted by mistake how will you handle the situation so basically first of all uh, the preventive uh, the corrective measure should be taken corrective measure is we should restore from backup as soon as possible and we should check that which is is there any script which is triggering this data loss is there something else we should identify the issue and should uh, prevent that is there should be not more data should be lost so the corrective measure is this preventive measure is that we should enable the backups and versioning and we should implement a data recovery plan accordingly we should not notify the stakeholders that what was the issue and what why it was occurring and it has been resolved so uh, that's how now uh, uh, next question is like sensitive secrets accidentally get committed to a git repository so how would you address this and prevent it from happening again so first of all the uh, keys and access should be revoked and uh, new secret should be regenerated then we should use git uh, repo cleaner there is a tool or git Bra filter hyphen branch so this is a command we should use so this helps in clearing the uh, removing the sensitive data from the git history from the entire git history then we should force push the clean git uh, uh, report like history uh, what so git push hi origin hyphen hyphen force hyphen hyphen all 
Preventive measures are that always the sensitive data should be included in .gitignore file. We should use environment variables for sensitive data. We should use tools like AWS Secret Manager, Azure Key Vault or HashiCorp Vault for all this. We should use git commits, pre-commit hooks uh, so that people before committing uh, they cannot commit if certain limitations or certain uh, conditions are not fulfilled we have uh, they cannot commit and we should enforce code reviews okay the next question is uh, that requirement is to deploy an application across multiple cloud providers to improve availability how would you design this uh, deployment so first of all what cloud provider you have to choose what regions will you choose because regions depend uh, cost increases cost basically depends on which region are you choosing and then we should adopt the microservice architecture we should use containers so that we don't have to depend like what uh, what are his dependencies we don't have to check that we should use Terraform or cloud formation for provisioning the, um, you know, uh, this uh, resources. We should uh, do load balancing, which is global across clouds. So global load balancer should be used uh, to route the traffic across these cl uh, multiple clouds. Uh, and uh, like DNS load balancing like root 53 and something like this and multi-cloud load balancer like nginx, ha proxy data replication should be enabled uh, for multi-region databases like using amazon aurora databases and something uh, like uh, all uh, which are uh, the uh, where we can enable the replication then network design should be done where we can use vpc pairing or vnet pairing and uh, also we can for direct for private connection between the clouds we can use direct connect or azure express route we should security we should use im or uh, you know azure active directory monitoring and logging should be enabled for that we should use these uh, like for logs we can use elk for matrices and for monitoring we should use prometheus or grafana cost management should be done so they we have uh, in aws we have these services for cost management to cost explorer billing and in azure also we have we can uh, do cost management there are services so yeah this is how we should design and uh, like tell the solution next question is and the last question how will you do monitoring and logging if there are multi-cloud platform what solution you will provide there are data dog there are tools like data dog elk for logging logs prometheus and grafana for monitoring and uh, so basically and for aws like in aws there is cloud watch in azure there is azure monitor for google there is google cloud Mo monitoring for gcp so we have to enable uh, these things for uh, this uh, logging uh, collecting traces and matrices and uh, uh, there are like there are aws x-ray service there are azure application insights which are basically used for monitoring of applications there are google cloud trace and for logs we can see logs in azure uh, aws cloud watch azure monitor and basically uh, first of all uh, we should uh, so you need to connect the you need to collect matrices logs and traces from various cloud providers so for that we use this these tools like aws we use cloud watch azure monitor and then after collecting the logs we have to customize these logs and produce like custom matrices and then we have to do the uh, create the dashboards so basically you will uh, tell all this that this is how i'll provide the solution so i hope uh, i'll give all the questions in the description section and uh, i hope uh, everything is clear so yeah that's all for today's video bye